Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWay. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. In this new video, we'll see how to add documentation to a custom function. So let's get started. In the last video, we saw how to create a custom function in Power Query that removes white spaces from text value and capitalizes the first letter of each word. We can try it directly by inserting a value and see the result. But here we don't have more than that as information. So that's why we can use documentation to describe the function and the parameters as well as to give some examples of how to use it. So that if someone works on your Power BI file, he or she will understand how it works. So let's see how to add the documentation. First, we select the function and then we click on Advanced Editor. In the last video, we added the script of the function. Documentation is defined using metadata. First, we will define a custom type of the function, then ascribe that to it. To do so, we add a comma before the last in, then we're going to define a type for the function. The code is type equal type function my column must text for the parameter as text because the output of the function is a text then we will add documentation fields to our types metadata record documentation.name It's the name of the function Documentation dot long description Here we will add an elegant description Then the documentation.examples to add one or more examples. Let's add another example. Then we call value.replace type to ascribe the type to the function. Then the last thing to do is to return the retyped function after in. If we hit done to see the result, as you can see it's much nicer. We have a description and two examples. We can also add description to parameters of the function. I already added that to a new function. 
When we define the type of the function, we add the documentation fields of the parameter inside parentheses. Here, for example, we added documentation.field caption, field description, and sample values. So, in the result, we find our field caption and sample value. So, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. And if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from the iWay. See you in the next video.